Hi guys, happy Catter Day. It is Beth and I just want to take a moment today to talk about one of my Catter Day chores today. So, my big boy Sooty has been scratching up a few things around the house. In particular, he seems to have taken an affinity to the moldings on the paneling. And he's done some damage before I caught what was going on. But one of the things that I did uh, want to bring to your attention is most people when they do um, to get a scratching post, oftentimes um, they tend to go on the cheap side or the inexpensive side and it doesn't always work. So let's go over a few things. Number one, can't even see it, it's out of camera range. You can get one of these little guys. These are pretty much generally, if they're there, this is maybe 18 inches tall, if that. Um, this really is kitten size. Um, for a big cat like Sooty, this is probably not gonna be good enough. Out that goes. The next size up is about two feet tall. And this one is well loved by my Lucy. So it's, <laughs> it's beat up, but she does use it. And we go back every once in a while and glue these back in place. Um, but she likes this, but Sooty doesn't use it. Still, wrong size for Sooty. Off to the side, out it goes. Now for him, since he's been scratching the moldings on the paneling, he's scratching about this height. So he's get wanting a big scratch, a big stretch and to exercise those claws way up high. So we have now brought for him a 33 inch cat tree. And other things that we have done uh, to, to deal with this is we're, where he has been scratching, we have put up a little product called Sticky Paws. I don't know if that's in camera range, but it's called Sticky Paws. Um, it stays stuck to what you stick it to, and it's just tacky to your cat's feet. It's not gonna come off and get tangled up in their fur or anything like that. Um, and ultimately, it is removable. Now, these Sticky Paws are available at Chewy. I think I got these on sale this past week. So what we did is we set up the Sticky Paws and you can, you won't see them because they're clear. So, you know, they're not gonna be obnoxiously with your decor. Um, <clears throat> so when you set up a deterrent like that, a passive deterrent, you have to give them an active replacement, which is now this great big scratching post. So whenever you set up a deterrent for your cats, you want to give them an alternative, an active alternative. So in this case, the post has been covered with catnip. Uh, we'll see if he wants to come down and use it. He's already investigated it. Um, we'll let him decide if he's going to use it or not. I know if he doesn't, the other cats in the house will. So I know it's not wasted money. <laughs> Um, but <coughs> that is something I just wanted to bring to your attention. The other thing you want to do is wherever your passive deterrent is, because scratching is a marking behavior. It's a territorial marking behavior. So wherever the, that scratching is going on, you put, you put up your passive deterrent. And then you're going to also want for the next week or so is go through and use a little feel away spray down lower to your passive deterrent and what the feel away is telling your cat who's marking whether it is scratching or urine marking what this is telling them is this is a safe zone you don't have to worry you don't have to mark and everything's okay so that is my catter day tip of the day thanks and Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.